Hello and welcome back to a stream. So we're going to do a little stream today during the day, um, just because we've the kids are at school basically, so uh, got a bit of free time. So we're going to carry on our career mode. Um, we just completed the European Championship, I believe, in our Team Sherma M3, and uh, we're going to now go and um, check the cafe, see what uh, what what brings next. So well done for winning the championship. Thank you. Reward we collected. So Colorado Springs uh, track is now unlocked. So that's an off-road track, and a collection of Fords now. Which I think we won the Ford GT last night. Uh, not Ford GT, Ford Focus RS. There you go. So, oh, we we will be up against the Ford GT. Okay. Uh, special Stage Route X USA. Okay. The first completed the mass produced cars and boasts over 120 years of history. Uh, these three cars are packed with power you'd expect for an American machine. Collect them and come back here. Okay, we will do. So, does that mean we're going to have to take a Focus RS on Route X against a Ford GT? I don't know how we'd win that. Right, okay, Colorado Springs, Northern Ireland and Daytona. Right, so, uh, oh no, it's just Colorado or Daytona. So, Colorado is off-road. A pickup truck race. Okay, so we're going to... Do we have a pickup truck? That's a question. Change car. No, we don't. So we'd have to buy one of those. Okay. Daytona. Third place. or is a pickup truck again. Okay, so we've got to go buy a pickup truck. Okay, so this is the first time we're having to buy a car. So, um... That's just a ring. So it's 420pp. So... Which pickup truck do we buy? A Raptor or a Tundra? And I'm going to show a bit of an allegiance here to Toyota. Oh, gone the wrong place. We need to buy a car. Porsche, please. Start that, please. Brand Central. Let's go and get a Toyota. Uh, Toyota. Showroom, right? Where's this massive ass tundra? There we go. God, that thing is massive. We'll have it in blue because it's kind of iconic in that blue. 62 grand. Right, it's taking us below a mil though. Heavy haulage. Got the trophy. What's that for? Oh, didn't see. Probably buying something heavy. Almost level 16. Right. Uh, yes, we want to change car and it's a 420 pp. Uh, just out of interest, can you put a spoiler on a pickup truck? Like a rear wing? Should we find out? Every now and then, we get a bit of a low time like this. So I'm going to crack a couple of Percy Pigs. Go on, game. Not broken. Right, okay, I think this is the first bug I've encountered on GG Sport. Oh, GG7 even. Right. Let's grab the controller. Close the game. Gonna have to restart the game. There we go. I think that's the first time that's happened to me. Like any kind of issues. But anyways, let's load it up and let's go and find out if we can put a spoiler a rear wing on a Tundra. Is it possible? Right, uh, GT Auto. Um, Customised cars. Custom parts. So it doesn't... Oh, we can, uh, we can make it look meaner. Oh, and put steps on it. Okay, but we can't put rear wing on it, unfortunately. Okay. We could put bonnet pins on it, though. Nice. Okay. So. It says suggested 420 pp. Got comfort mediums on. So, we, should we just throw on a, a few bolt ons? Let's just do racing air filter. 
I give us a couple of more beans and the computer standard bolt-ons there we go so just under a mil right let's go and do this so remember our rules are if it's a manual car we have to drive manual if it's an automatic then fair enough if it's flappy paddle we've got to drive flappy paddles right five laps roll and start don't quite know what to expect here it's going to be five laps of sitting like this up this high of probably just whacking into the limiter oh god we're, we're slow did we need to get more power oh no we're catching the leader if we look at the gap to the leader we are catching them fifth gear right is there a slipstream to be had here oh my life 131 and that's pretty much it I, I think everybody's catching everybody aren't they wow look at those three all the way out there hundred and thirty three miles an hour I think we're getting slower around this corner here this is this is like this is like NASCAR but on stilts wow it's getting rowdy there don't really want to get involved in all that Wow, is that a cow print? No, it's camo Toyo tyres one. Right. So now, can we catch those leaders? Right, 6.2 seconds ahead. Oh, they're pulling away from us. We're going slower. Come on, 129, 128. Right, so we seem to catch these guys up in the corners. But we're having to rev the nuts off this. Right, six seconds behind. God, this could be a long race. Done the fastest lap of the race. Now we're 6.1, so it, we're dropping back from these guys. Wow, do, are we going to have to go and put get more power and come back? Right, I'm just going to hold fourth and see what happens now. No, it's probably going to sound awful it's not great for the engine but seems to have a bit more consistent pace right it seemed Oh, banged into the limiter there. Lost a lot of pace. Right, so I think we need to take fifth down these straight bits and fourth around the corners. Even then, I don't know if we've got enough pace to do this. Guys behind us are right on us. We just not, we've not got the pace right. We need more power. Right. More power needed. Tune shop. Do we just slap a dirty great big turbo on this thing? 
I don't want to spend loads. That gives a, us a bit. Want good bang for your buck power. Can't slap a turbo on it, evidently. Right, 18 grand. Oh, manifold here. That's a little bit more. 18 grand for a port polish. There's not much we can do in the way of power to this thing, is there? Okay, 5 grand. Bore up or... So we could do one of those. Support silencer will take us back down. High lift camshaft, so 421, 418. So that's definitely better, for, bang for the buck. Right, we're 420 pp, so 447 horses. Let's go back to Daytona. Let's go for it. Five laps around here again. Right, come on then. Right, so we're hoping we can hold the higher gear easier. Right, up to fourth. Looks like we're catching this Raptor quicker earlier. So the power's definitely made a difference. There's what, 133 was struggling to hold. Going up and over this one. Oh, this looks a lot better. Look at that, we can hold. Yeah, we're still pulling now. Right, this is better. 136 and we're still pulling down here, so this should be doable now. Yeah, going into the curve. Still holding over 133. Losing a little bit of speed here, 134. Right now it should start accelerating again, which is what it couldn't do before. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we've got more pace this time. Gonna tuck into the slipstream here. Gonna have to go around the outside of these squabbling cars, trucks. They've literally squashed us in there. Come on. Poor. Didn't expect them to still be as alongside me there. Right, 5.1 seconds to the top five. This is a gap we struggled at bridge last time. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, 4.7 seconds, we're already catching them. Come on, 132. Oh, we're struggling. Just not in the power band there. I think if we go under 100 and oh god it doesn't seem to be pulling as well now gonna have to go down to fourth is that really the strength of the slipstream here right there we go so wow the RPMs definitely make a big difference to the power here Accelerating to 139 here. I hope we should start to get into slipstream range. 141. Now we know if we dip below 134, we really need to change down. Oh no, we stayed above. 136, come on, pull. Should be crouching on slipstream territory here. One 
1.3 seconds behind Bayless and they're getting rowdy up there we're coming though oh somebody's gone down the inside wow he used me to slip stream up <laughs> I thought they were done and dusted behind us but evidently not this is NASCAR on stilts oh that orange car this is getting rowdy we're down on the yellow line Right, Bilstein or Continental. We're going to go for Bilstein. Bump draft. He's gone out wide though. This car's going slower. Oh no, I've gone in sixth. Need fourth. Right, accelerate again. Final lap. He's holding on round the outside, but he's going to be round the outside now. We're clear. I'm just going to grab open my map, my radar. Right, that's 138 upper gear. Giving away a slipstream here. We're going to go now get down to the bottom. So if they want to go past, they're going to have to go the long way round. Oh, that's a little bit bump from the AI. Keeping an eye on my minimum speed. Gonna have to go down a gear. Come on, Tundra. <laughs> this has actually been quite tense. Take home the win. Get in. Cats managed to open the curtains. Right, wow, that was actually ridiculously close. Clean race bone, 45 grand. See, once you get working through the menus. Oh, there we go. Four GT. You get a lot of money. I suppose I could have been cute there. And uh, if we had brought the Raptor, then we would have just done one race and we would add all three cars. Hey, so be it. Right, now we need to do an off-road race. Got a fast f um, MR car there. Right, pick up. Oh, I need dirt tyres. Okay, um, so we need to go buy those. Okay. Laugh if like, dirt tyres are like 45 grand. Right, so not there. It's extreme. No wet and intermediates, nope. Uh, nope. Semi racing, nope. Ah, there we are, under club sports. Dirt tyres, only four and a half grand. So that is no worries. Oh, it looks like we've unlocked a new set of missions. Gone with the wire, gone with the wind, sorry. Need two more levels to un unlock the last of the missions. Right, world circuits. Colorado Springs, let's get it done. Right. Let's see if our extra power tundra can hold its own round here. Right, come on, tundra. Right, three laps. Oh, that bit's from the license test, isn't it? That section there. Oh, she's got good grip. She's got good grip. Using the third. Third gear. Oh, between those two. Right, she, see, she's got plenty of torque down low. It's just up top, she struggles. See there, just hold third. She's starting to bog down there, but she managed to pull herself through. Free. Well, oh, I'll have to change down to second though. 
don't really remember this track much from GT Sport. Kind of did it on the circuit experience, got the credits for it, and moved on with your life. Oh, wow, that was a big bump. Right, around the outside. There we go. Nice, nice. That brightly coloured one. That's pretty cool. On the brakes. Come on. Talk. There we go. It's one lap done. Wow, when you actually get in that s a certain range on these dirt tracks, it does become very hard to see. Like this, this range, it's not so bad. But once you get within about 10, 20 meters, it definitely gets difficult. That's one thing that I didn't know is you, you can put a roll cage in one of these. Power. Looks like it's pretty tight up at the front though. I'm going to try second round it. Oh, yes. Right around the outside. Gonna need a second again. It's getting a bit rough. Oof. Smacked on the ground there. Come on, mighty tundra. Going around the outside. Oi! There we go. Job done. Got one lap left as well. So just need to keep this under control. And we'll come home with the victory. Yeah. This tundra with a couple of light bods was more than the match. There we go. Actually feels quite fun. Like I think there has been some criticism of the physics on some of the on the off-road tracks and you know what I think it is is the the suspension's not got enough travel. Like when you drive these bigger cars trucks uh, off-road because they're so high up the wheels got further to move upwards and I feel like it's almost like the engines going on some of the uh, um, like smaller rally cars it's going oh basically the wheels gone up into the wheel well and then you've run out of suspension travel and I think that's what's causing sometimes the odd handling like there you can see the front impacted Im impacted it landed on the ground soaked up the uh, their force and then the rest of the suspension came down good fun actually there we go and there's the end easy victory easy win take it home that's another menu done a couple of little scrapes in the front there tundra's locking out the top six. Oh no safe driving uh, clean race bonus there and we got a raptor sweet right what to next Right, back to the cafe we go. There you go, Ford GT, Focus RS and uh, wrapped in the background. Congratulations, got all three in the Ford collection. Special stage route X has now been unlocked. So is he going to tell us something about these Fords? <sighs> yeah. The USA's Fords is uh, the world's leading manufacturers. 
It's been responsible for producing legendary sports cars such as the Ford GT. That's correct. Best selling pickup trucks like the F-150. And hot hatches like the Focus RS, which was built in Europe, yeah. In other words, it's been involved in the creation of all sorts of different cars. Very true. First cars appeared at the end of the 19th century before they revolutionised the world. Played a leading role being the first to come up with mass production technology. In those days, not long after the very first car had been invented, cars were built one at a time with craftsmen moving along each unit on the factory floor. However, in 1908, Ford introduced a production line. Cars moved along and the workers stay still. This allows cars to be mass produced and in touch, uh, turn made them dramatically cheaper. Very true. Yeah, there's the Ford Model T. Cute little thing. 15 million Model Ts were made over a 20 year period. Blow me now, I never knew it was that many. Today, the uh, mass production for, uh, we take mass production for granted. But Ford shook it up. That's very, very true. Right, collection now, we're on to Chevrolet's to collect. So I've got one of them already. Got to get a C7 and a Z1R. Cool. Chevrolet is also producing some sports cars. Let's go and get some. Right, should mix it up. What what what, what we got? So into the Americas got Special Stage and Daytona. So seven. 100 pp I'm thinking we'll just go with this although there's a Ford GT there that's gotta be better at route X although I know that I can get this over 200 let's see uh, to show top speed in this can the Ford GT do it is the question I don't think it can so we'll go for one LE load this one up and I think We'll see if we can take off some of the Dune Force uh, car settings. Details. Can we change the downforce? No, we can't change the downforce on that massive wing. So let's see what's the worst that could happen. I think this should be good for 200. Going to have to keep in this slipstream though. Yeah, she pulls. Right, we're up to sixth already. Wow, we're catching them. I've never seen that one before, is it? Uh, unless that's just a livery on it. Looks very race car. Right, that's 191. We are catching the leaders. Trying to weave in between these guys to get a nice bit of extra toe. Yeah, that's 200. Not sure whether Ford GT would do 200. Right, going to be slipstreamless for a little bit here. We are still catching, seven seconds behind. Good looking car. Looks nice and aggressive. Dodge Viper. Right, 5.7 second gap. Need to try and bridge. There's no seventh gear, so 215. We are catching them quite handily down here. Camaro SS. Almost hit the rear end of it. Still catching the leader though. 4.4 seconds behind now. When we get back to the corner, I'm going to have to go back to in car view because I can't drive around a corner like this. Just trying to hunt for the slipstream still catching but not quite as fast as we was before 3.9 seconds behind this is second place 3.6 seconds behind Igor Fraga I don't know what car he's in I'm gonna go back to the in-car view because we want to make this oh should we go up on the banking is that safer longer distance round right keep it nice and smooth we are still slowly catching three seconds behind 
keep it in this middle lane down here 2.8 seconds behind my fear is now if we do catch him is he just going to be able to slip stream back past us or is it the seventh gear just double checking right 2.4 seconds behind 212 miles an hour flat out Two point one seconds behind. Oh, we're slowly catching it. We must be doing like two miles an hour more. Two seconds behind. One point nine seconds. One point eight seconds. Wow. Oh, is there enough track? One point seven seconds. We should start to hit slipstream soon. going to go back into in-car view I think we're just about getting slipstream you can see that just getting a bit more 1.4 seconds come on yeah starting to get slipstream here 1.2 seconds almost this is going to be tight 1.1 seconds definitely in slipstream range here one second. Point nine. Whoa, oh, come on. Right into the darkness we go. Can't even see his car. Oh, there we go. His headlights come on. Six point six of a second. Half a second. Three tenths. So very working very hard now. And dive out. Right, we're going to stay here. I'm not going to jump back in front of him because I don't. If he searches for my slipstream, fair enough, but I don't want to give him. The he is searching for the slipstream. Okay. I'm going to go up into this middle lane. Ready for. Wow, the AI is searching for my slipstream. And he's in it now. Right, if he wants to go past me, he's going to have to go below me. I'm going to stick to this lot line on the left hand side he's right there though isn't he wow this is going to get tense isn't it I think he added a bit of a wobble coming off the banking. Whoa. That was hard fought. Needed to be on it the whole whole lap there. Nice. We should get a Corvette C C7 for 45 grand. Clean racing race bonus. Yep, nice. And Corvette C7. Sweet. Right, let's go and win the last one. That was good fun. Route X races can sometimes be a bit boring, but that was good fun. Right, acquired. Daytona. Club and 700. Okay, so it's the infield seven laps. Can we use that? Uh, 571. Nah, we'll stick with Camaro with 80 points down. PP. On suggested. Let's give it a shot. Got four laps, so it's going to be a good chug of time. Should have gone to second. Yep, should have gone to second. Right, let's retry that. Right, I've driven here in a GT3 car, but I've not driven here in a row car. And I've driven a lot of GT3 cars on my racing here. Gonna muscle our way through here. Power. 
Wow. She likes to slide. Come on then, power. Well, seeing from the route X, we should have good pace around the bowl. Nervous there to get on the power fully. There we go. But she's starting to move. Up to fifth already. We are 18 seconds behind the leader already. We're actually up into sixth already. Blood me now. Oh, we're going to have to go down the escape road. Oh, it's reset us. Right, okay. Note to self, don't do that. I, that just came up so quick. The bus stop did there. Oh, slidey, slidey. Right. Whoa! Wow. Got caught out there. Right, we can do it this time round. Let's do this. Car is very powerful. But power is nothing without control. Still on the inside, I can't turn in. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, man. I need to get this right. Right. Let's get this focus on the brakes. It's a bit spooky there. Back on the power, come on. Just take it easy. Gonna beat him on the brakes. Second gear is pretty scary at times. Turn her in. There we go. Should get this CR1. There we go. Got him. Ford Mustang here. He's going to cover the inside. We'll blast around the outside. Didn't know where to break there. Oh, the Mustangs came back at us. Better safe than sorry. Back on the power. We're way off. Way faster in a straight line than these guys. Just having to take it semi easy through the corners. Viper GTS blown him away. Wait. It's hard to know where to get on the brakes when you never driven the car track combination before. Wait. The car does things like that. Oh man. 
Oh man, we've lost a load of time there. Come on. There we go. Just completely lost the rear end there. Oh, and we're off again. Man, we're losing time here. Got so much speed around the oval sections that, but we're throwing it away in the infield. Come on, Camaro. Stop fighting me. Right, break to the two marker there. Whoop! Come on. Yeah. I've thrown away 10 seconds on this lap alone. Come on. Need to make this up now. Right. Don't make a mistake into the international horseshoe this time around. Tried to kill me then. Oh man. We have made a mistake into the International Horse Show there. I think I need to get third or higher. I'm just not going to be able to do it at this rate. Especially if we went off there as well. Nah, we're gonna have to restart this one right need to probably just back it off 10% focus on just trying to keep the car pointing in the right direction know the track a little bit better now cool oh. Wanting to kill us there. I think also you have to remember we are driving a road car, not a race car, which is, I think my brain's defaulted to thinking Daytona road course, it's got to be a uh, race car. Get on the power. Right, get this CR1. There we go, got him. Right, we should be able to get this Mustang as well. Up to fifth. Is it going to cover the inside? He is. Go around the outside. Pass this Mustang. Breaking out the two, or just before the two looks about right. That's a lot better. Right. Only 13 seconds off the leader now. Around the outside of the Focus RS. Nice, nice. There we go, up to sixth already. The car is fast.
Ooh, almost didn't pull it up in time there. Still sketchy through there. Get it turned in, come on. There you go, slowly apply the power. There you go. Seven seconds behind Eagle Fraga. Okay, turned in for GT. We it's probably going to be no slouch in straight line. Right, looks like we actually lost a bit of time through the interior sector. Catching up now. And the outside of the Ford GT would go. Just get it slowed down for the bus stop. And then power once we can see that exit. There we go. Past the Corvette. Past the Viper, we'll go down the inside, he's left the inside open for us. Right, there's Eagle Fraga. Still got a lap to her spare, so doing a lot better this time. Touchwood. Using all the track, including the dirty parts there. Looks like he's in a C7. Come here, Mr. Igor Fraga. Ooh, we're on the grass. Looks like he holds good pace through the infield section. And he can evidently get on the power a lot better than we can out of those slow corners. Then look, now we start catching. And we're catching him fast. Right, top gear. Ooh. Nearly ended up in the wall there. Should bring us a 156 on the lead. There we go, blasting past Eagle Fraga. Tip her in. Nice, there we go. Back on the power. Slow right down. International horseshoe. Be interesting to see if he catches us up through this section here. We. How many miles are done on this? 68, 69 miles. Yeah, he holds on to us well through the uh, infield. But we blast away down here. Oh, 
Right, just before the two. Oop! Went straight from six to third there. That's the problem with uh, manual gearboxes, you can make mistakes like that. Right, it should be a 56 second lap. Daytona win. Get in. Oh, that was a tricky one. Good fun, though. Enjoyed it. And that should give us the win. Clean race. Another 45k. Nice. Oh. And the CR, uh, ZR1 Corvette. With not pop-up headlights. Flip-over headlights. Right, that should be the Corvettes collected for that menu. So let's see what we got next. Right, back to the menu we get a cafe, sorry. 649 horses, man. And that Camaro that we were just driving. There we go, there's all three Corvettes collected. Chevrolets. Hey, congratulations, you got all three cars. Yes, we did. And I'll get a reward, a four-star roulette token. So we'll see what that is. Let's see what they've got to say about Chevrolet. Uh, Chev uh, Chevrolet's Corvette and Camaro are widely considered to be the mo most quintessential sports cars from America. Chevrolet brand was established in 1911. Okay. Name after Louis Chevrolet. I, you know what? I don't know much about Chevrolet. I know more about Ford. First car was produced was a classic six, a large vehicle with a straight six engine. The most famous and model is probably the two-seater Corvette. That is correct. First generation Corvette was unveiled in 1953. Corvette's been produced until that day, until today. Cementing them place as an icon of American motoring. Totally agree. That uh, ZR1 was a bit of a busto. Get a wide body, body American car. Okay. You want uh, unlock um, Interlago, so, but you want us to get wide, get your hands on modern and American car to widen its body. We've got Pan American Championship ahead. Get your car into shape. First thing you need is a suitable American car, such as a Ford or a Chevrolet, and then widen its body. Okay, do we widen what we've got already, like this Chevrolet, or do we widen something else? We can't see what kind of specs we need for the next race, can we? America's, because we've not got into Lagos yet, no. Okay. So, should we just widen what we've got? Gonna have to change the wheels then. 25 grand. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. Right, boys, pull those arches out. Right, we're gonna need to change the wheels now. Because that looks. Looks like um, no one of those people who. Um, Works, works out of the gym, but it's got really muscular top half, but quite small legs. And <clears throat> like that, that's what it looks like at the moment. And what wheels should we go for? Uh, wheels. Uh, Enkies? Yeah, I'm f feeling a five spoke. Gotta be five spoke, really. Nothing jumping out at me there. No, that looks a bit old. No. Any suggestions? Yokohamas? Okay. Yeah, I'm liking these. Okay. No, not quite that. That's a bit more tunerish. Uh, I'm liking these down here. Yokohamas. Yeah, let's stick a set of these on. We'll stick with standard size. We're gonna go wider rim and push the offset out. 
Two and a half grand. Cheap as chips. What can we do on here? Should we stick a diffuser on? Yeah, let's do it. Wing. Well, I imagine this thing wingless. No, we'll keep the wing on. Should we put a tongue on? Yeah, we'll stick a tongue on. Right. We've wide bodied this. Let's go and see what the next championship is. We might even drive a different car. So I suppose we've got the C7 and the uh, Ford GT as well. Cafe. Congratulations. Here's, here's a matter of tire widened to offset. You can change your wheels as well. Yeah, that's what we've already done. And we've unlocked Interlagos and the Pan American one championship. Finish top three. Okay. Let's see what cars we can use and then wake it up. Oh, okay. So we've got a little video here. Ford Mustang. In a kind of a GT4 spec. Focus RS. Nice. Like a satin black. Like the wheels. Viper. That looks good. That does look nice. Uh, it wasn't a Mustang, it was a Camaro. That Viper looks good. The Viper's looking really good. Yes. Right. Well, if we're going to be racing those kind of cars, we are going to need something fast then. We know the Camaro already is pretty fast. Right, we'll see what cars. Oh, it's still got that roulette ticket as well to use. Right, it's down here, Pan American. Right, the suggested PP is 700. Right, so we're a way off in our Camaro. So do we stick with the Camaro and stick a few extra options on it? Or do we go to something like a Ford GT? What tracks is it? Blue Moon, Laguna, uh, Daytona, and... Uh, you know what? I feel like just mixing it up and trying new cars. So let's go for the Ford GT. We'll go spend some money on it. Can't take money with you when you're dead, so... Oh, I think, I think we need to widen it first. Cat's falling off the windowsill. All right, let's get to widening it. Right on the Ford GT. Wow, it costs 50 grand for this. Okay. Come on, boys, pull on those uh, fenders. Roll them nicely, please. Don't want any cracked paint. Right. We're going to put a rear spoiler on this. I'm telling you that now. Right. Let's see. It's going to need some new wheels as well. So we're going to have to spend money on wheels again. Just did. Uh, BBSs. I quite like those on the, on the Ford GT. Yeah, let's have some. St standard. That's all that. Standard could go 19s or 20s. We'll stick with 18s. We'll go wider wheels and wider offset. Eight grand. Wow. Some all oh, gone back too far. Some cars, the wheels are really like two and a half grand, and some all, all of a sudden you choose a different set of wheels and they're mega books. So we need 700, isn't it? So let's see what aero kits we can put on this GT. Custom parts, front. Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh, what do I go for? What do, uh, let's go type B, seven grand. Oh, I'm liking this. This is gonna look race car-like. 
Right, is that got... Okay, yeah, it's got a curved section in the middle, whereas these ones I don't think do. Oh, wow, that's a swan, swan neck. Oh, these ones got a little bit of camera kicking out, haven't they? Yes. Swan neck. Nice. It's a big ass wing. Won't stick any bunny pins. We'll stick a tongue on it. Won't mess with any of that. Okay, let's go make this more powerful. Come on. Right. What we're feeling. We need to get up to... It says about 700 pp, but I probably won't go to 700 because I, I find it just makes the game too easy if you go all the way. But we should be able to do some good with this. Right, so straight away we need stickier tyres. We'll go straight for sport soft. 300, uh, 931. We'll take one stage of lightning. 641. And then I'm feeling, as it looks like a race car, look at the wing on it. Let's go full race car exhaust. Racing air filter and fully customized computer oh, wow still got a load of pp left so let's go new brakes yeah go exhaust so it's a full exhaust on this thing now nice right what else should we do to it hey chat um Crankshaft's fairly expensive for what it is. Should we do another round of lightning? How, how much weight? 1,300 kilos. This takes it down to 1,200 kilos. Yeah, let's do it. And high lift camshafts. Yeah, let's we'll throw those in. Oh, we've done, not done suspension, so height adjustables. 683. I think that should be good. 683, 639 horses. Let's quickly do a roulette ticket while we're here, see if we win anything nice. Gifts. It's a four star, so let's see what we win. Four stars. So Pagani. Oh, engine. So carbon ceramics or the SLS GT3. What mind that GT3 car? Carbon ceramics. Okay. Is it for a particular car? Yeah, for a Lamborghini Aventador LP. 700-4 we don't have one but hey when we do we can throw them on for free right which track should we do oh dropped under a mill after that little spending spree oh no it's a championship isn't it Pan American yeah let's do it race one blue moon Don't know if the uh, arrow will hold us back on this one, but let's find out. Come on then, Blue Moon, 4 GT, 6 laps. Never driven this car before, so it looks good. Nice bits of carbon. If you're joining us just now, wow, basically any of the races, if the car is manual, we've got to drive it as manual. So, never driven this car before. Come on. There we go. She sounds good. God, that wings turn the rear visibility into zero, basically. Right, well, to fifth already. Wow. Oh, she's getting sketchy through there. Always cut us off. Whoa, mid-engine car bites back there though. Wow, come on. Six laps, 13 seconds to catch. Gonna hold it in fourth. Oh, too deep. Still good, still good. This thing's car's quite long-legged. She sounds good when you rev the nuts off her. That last this bit, 500 RPM. Whoa, sounds good. Go around the outside here. Can we switch the inside? There we 
go. I should go down two gears. She likes to be pushed through the corners rather than taking it too slow. All right, down the inside of these guys. I'm gonna hold fourth again. Whoa, it's getting a bit skittish through there. There we go, right, up to sixth. Lap three. See what, who, who can we catch next? Wilk is ahead. Okay, just take it easy. We gotta take it easy through those bank corners. Don't quite have the grip. Could almost go for slick tyres on this car. I think that'd be the next step, really. If you want to do any more power, blown away him. Again, we won't take fifth. Oh, maybe a little bit ha apprehensive of chasing these cars down in the braking zone there. Oh, wow. Uh, that's Daddy up ahead. In the first generation mark um, for GT. Right, that's third. Oh, cars skittish. I'll go down the inside of him. Is that first and second just ahead? Oh God, I just couldn't get on the power there. Whoa. Well, should get these guys here. Down to third for this hairpin at the bottom. Yeah, it's first and second, Igor Fraga and Danny Solis. Right, come on, power. We've got these two. There we go. C7's been gotcha'd as well. There we go. Just take it easy through here. Cause it, right, now we just need to keep it consistent and don't become a freebie. God, I love the sound when you rev it out. But from six and a half. Hill and toe as we go down. Sounds good. Going down through the gearbox. Right, back on the power. Right. Two more corners and we should take the victory. Yo, 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 yo. Feels flighty through there. I think this might be a tad tricky to drive around into Lagos. But I think that's a victory there. There we go. Victory. Well done. First place. Oh, um. Uh, with the wide body kit, can you also buy wheel spaces? Um, oh, sorry, I've only just read the uh, push somebody into the pits. Uh, yeah, so basically, when you do wide body, uh, if you didn't see, you uh, the wheels get left where they are. You have to then go and buy new wheels, and you can move the offset out, uh, which is nice. The only thing is, dog, uh, if you wanted to keep the same stock wheels, doesn't look like you can push the offset out with like using the spacer as you said there push somebody in the pits man I, I'd I would try but you know what I'd probably end up crashing and then losing a race as well right what track we at next yeah the animation is pretty mad for widening the car You've just got a load of guys pulling on the fenders like they're not even heating up the paint right Daytona we should do well here should do real well here. Five laps, rolling start. Right, come on then. Four GT. Let's do this. Oh, she sounds so good. She sounds raw. 
Right, we'll just come from Daytona, but in the Camaro. And I have to say, it's a very big, different uh, point of view from down here in the 4GT. is so much lower. Just try to slow the car down. Whoop. Whoopla. Yep, 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 yep. The car's round. Oh, I think I've, we've actually stalled. Right, I'm going to have to try that again. Right. So she struggles low, low speed. See, that's what I'm finding with a lot of these races. Sometimes it's you have to be more cautious than expected because one mistake and that's kind of it for you. And it's not, it's not a uh, Code Masters game, and there's no flashbacks. We. Maybe I should be in first. My car is pretty long-legged. Yeah, she's just... I just want to rev it all the time. Yeah, feeling like maybe you should be in first for some of these corners. But I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a bit scared. Just take it easy, I think. Got five laps, so we've got plenty of time. Whoa, gone in too deep there though. Oh, I've saved it from stalling this time though. Wow. That's tricky. That's power. Right, so we're 26 seconds behind Eagle Fraga here. Right, where are we going to break? For the two. Oh, car doesn't want to stop. Oh, bus stop was tricky there. So I think the uh, Camaro 1LE that we had was probably a more a faster car than this. Maybe not in a straight line. Yeah, because we're blasting through 200 miles an hour already. Bloody hell, this thing's really fast. Oh, there's a corner here somewhere. Oh. This thing is probably, probably rapid. I just think in the infield, we just got to take it real cautious. She is a handful and a half. All right, let's dive down the inside. Just take it nice and easy. Okay, turned in, there we go. Whoop. Right, power. There we go. There's some power. Right, we should catch them rapidly at this kind of rate. Oh, God, this is obscene. Right, gonna have to break before the two. All the way down to second. Oh, listen to her go. Yes, this sounds awesome. Look at the rate we're catching these guys. God, the car was getting slidey there. It's getting really floaty. 200 across the line there. That's LMP, what, two kind of pace around Daytona across the finish line. But yet we're on road tyres in a road car. 
that sketchy. Looks like we're going to get these guys fairly easy as well. Third lap and we're already on to them. Right, so somebody wants, so what is, Chris wants us to try and push somebody into the pits. Let's see if we can do it with one of these guys. Means we're gonna have to sit behind them. Watch me regret this decision. Right, that's it. Gonna have to sit behind Fraga here. Oh, press the brake instead of the accelerator there. I mean, clutch, brake instead of the clutch. These two are fighting. Right, Igor, would you like to go into the pits, please? Right, we're going to try and get up above him, and force him down. Oh, oh wow, nah, that that's going to be very tricky to do. That if it's anything like sport, if you've got the lighter car, you're definitely going to struggle. Right, let's just get these guys past. Down the inside of Eagle Fraga. Got Danny Solace ahead. Whoop! Whoa! It's a very convincing spin there. Stalled the engine as well. It's the kind of spin that you see people do in real life, that is. Right. Wow, we dropped a lot of time there. Wow. I didn't see that many people go past us. See? I suppose that's karma. We try to put push Eagle Fraga into the pits and then we go and make a mistake and drop ourselves all the way back down to six there Wow we lost 16 seconds there right we've got a lot of time to make up now to try and take this win home Almost pull it into the wall then. Right, Mustang, where are you going? Got headlights on. Right, going on to the final lap. Right, we're up to fifth. Dad. Got to keep it nice and smooth. It's got dark here. All the lights are coming out. Daytona. Oh, we've made a mistake though. Man, made another mistake. This is going to cost us. Oh man, I don't know if we can make up this gap now. Especially if I can't get on the power. 
14 seconds. I'm not going to make it in the bus stop. Six seconds just to fourth. There they are. Oh, struggling. Should get some some of these though before the line. That's fourth. That's third. Just from sheer power. So I'm gonna take third at least. Oh, right. This is gonna be tough going into the final round then. Need to do well here. Frog and Solace beat us. Yeah, all three of us on the same amount of points now. Still got a clean race. Right. Next race, we need to win. Into Lagos. So we've not got the long straights that are going to help us here. That's the only problem. No long straights. And those what we could really do with some... This car's forte is long straights. Hopefully, up the junction, up the hill, this should be fairly fast. I'm down to second for the first corner. Take it nice and smooth. Got five laps, so we've got plenty of time. Got caught up the other guys quite easily last time. That's more us making the mistakes. Right, there we go. Never driven this car at this track again. Oi! So, knowledge of where to brake is limited. There we go. Come on, power up the hill. I reckon a lot of corners around here are going to be in second because second is such a long gear in this car. I'll try and go around the outside of the Camaro. He's still there. I'm just going to hold second there. Oh! Opla! Opla! Wow! Whoa! We're going to have to watch that on the replay. Wow! That was quite a save, to be fair. Yeah, gearing isn't great for around it. Wow, I'm struggling to get on the power up here. Right, once we can get on the power, look at this, we can just open her up. Oh, a bit too late, deep into the corner. Right, we'll come back for the corner so we don't get a penalty of some kind. Nope, the car's gone round. Oh, AI's hit us now. Come on. Wow. This is tricky. I think if this had a, a different gearbox, might be able to get a bit more pace out of it. Basically a lap behind there. This car, whoa, Kamara, we passed up here on the first lap. Muscling our way in here. Should I be using first through here is the question. Oh, 
Oh, God, these cars like this are a workout. Right, there we go, power. Oh, I don't feel confident going flat out through there. Car like this runs Spa. Every corner is an event. Oh. Still struggling to make it turn one. Short shift to third. There we go, power. On the limit here, literally. Every moment feels like it's a timer. You, you need to be on the power, but it's like you're trying to squeeze a water balloon underneath your brake uh, accelerator pedal. And just try not to pop it. Whoa! Probably just stayed in second round there. It's battle for third. Going round the outside of both of them. There we go, we've made good progress. Right, need to beat Fraga and Solis. There's Fraga. Still too deep into turn one. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's like driving in the wet at times. Right, come here, Danny Solis, your Viper. Slowly what, pile on the power. Back down to second. Wait. Right under the Viper now. He's around the outside. Just got to take it easy through here. Oh, he's on our inside. Fended him off. Right, let us sing. Yeah, she sounds good. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not flat. Oh, this is fun. Right, final lap. I think we actually braked enough for, for once for turn one. There we go. Just trying to slowly get the power up, but we just don't want to uh, overload the rear tyres. A bit of grass there on a braking zone. Oh. But see, this is where Grand Turismo works so well. Is you kind of get to know the car. Like now, I've got a better understanding of this car than I did at the start of the three races got a better control off it get to enjoy it a bit more and kind of 
you need to build up that mental knowledge of right if I put this car in this kind of situation this is how it's going to react until you've done those situations you don't really know like you can have a guess but Ooh. power there we go get in there's a win I think that should take the title do we get a clean rain race bonus yeah 52 grand nice another 70k on top Right, so Porsche, oh, loads of GT3s. Okay, I don't want the CS. Which ones are gonna be behind? Go left. Yeah, I'll take the GT3. It's a 2001, could've got the 2009 one, but we'll take it the 996. I think that's probably the next one to do. We've got to collect some of these. Level up, nice. New race suits, nice. Oh, that was good fun. All right, let's see what we've got next. Back to the cafe. Have we got a roulette ticket to use? No. I thought we got one, but we... I can't remember. You won the championship reward. Let's go and grab it. Oh, roulette. Oh, there's our roulette ticket four stars upgrade your Porsche so we have a Porsche now we need to go and upgrade it so we can go to spa tune it to between 600 and 650 PP okay yeah 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 yeah. let's go and upgrade our Porsche book number 30 we'll do, go and do our roulette ticket because we've got to go and get our Porsche from here anyway four stars come on Let's see what we've got. Engine. Exhaust. Oh, a Ventador. And a Pagani invite. We already got a Pagani invite today. And an exhaust. Is it for a specific car? Yeah, BAC Mono. Okay, so it's not as if... Yeah, so look... These are what we've got parts for. But we can't sell it for that money. Okay. Right. Change car. Newest car should be at the bottom. Yep. Porsche. Right. So we're going to see what we can do to this one. Uh, in fact. Should we wide body it? Oh, I feel like we're wide bodying everything. No, no, I'm not I'm going to resist the urge. Don't wide body everything. We'll see what arrows we can put on it. Uh, let's see. Could put some nice wheels on it though. Quite quite feeling these. And look, we'll just go more aggressive on the offset with those. Right. Front. Should we go full GT3 spec? Carbon side skirts. Rear. Carbon diffuser. Rear wing. Oh, wow, we could go wingless. Type B. Yeah, go full G we're going full GT3 spec here. Racing items, bonnet pins, yep, yeah. and a tongue. Leave the num. Actually, can we go number plateless? Yep. Yeah. Go rear only. Right. Let's do some upgrades between six hundred and six fifty. Right, this is our first Porsche as well. Right. Let's see what we can do. 
Right, what tyres? We'll go for softs. Wow, it's already taken us up to 600. Right, let's go the standard. Cause it's, we're going GT3. So, exhaust, induction, brakes, and computer. That's got to be the default. We're already at 625. So, could we do one stage of lightning? That takes up 641. Let's see. What about some nice cooler coilovers? 632. Yeah, let's do that. It's a nice spec. Not gone wild. Back to the cafe. Right, spa. Right, the Porsche collection. Nice, let's collect these Porsches. So we've got 930, 964 and a 993 to collect. Uh, these days are branded synonymous with the 911. That's true. We like to collect some 911s basically. Let's go do it. Right, so we've still got a few more circuits to unlock. Spa, Germany, um, uh, Ma Majori, Spa. Place thir third or higher, five laps. Yeah, let's get it done. Probably do this one and then uh, we might finish up the stream. First time in a Porsche. Right, made like a GT3 replica here. Oh, she sounds good. Oh, the brakes are strong. Coming from that Ford GT. Yeah, rev it out to 8,000 RPM there. Oh, she feels good. Don't quite want, know where to take it up, oh, Rouge. Yo, 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 yo. Whoa. Up to fifth. Chasing down these Porsches. Could have been a lot later there on the brakes. But I thought I'd just survive. Right up to third. Oi, oh, rear wanted to overtake us there. Short shift to third. I think that we're going to need it there. Right, power. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Can't really go down to second here. Stuck in amongst all these battling Porsches. Oi, yo, yo, yo. 9.30 turbo on the inside. Back down to third. Oi. Get up on the curb. Job done. Right. Got the newer 9.11 here. Just ahead. Gonna hold third. It's just just in the way. Oh, I've gotten the brakes way too hard there. About the weight transfer just transferred over the front axle and rear was all over the shop. Oi, she's getting light. <laughs> Just dancing on adhesion there. Oh, I just can't make the move stick. Come on, power. This uh, 997 generation of GT3 is giving me a run for the money. Can't, can't, can't get the move done. Whoa! 
Wow, wow, we've had a big crash there at Eau Rouge. Wow. Whew, we'll try that one again. I think I just, I think I'm just pushing the car too hard there. I think I've changed down too early as well. Right, 9.30 turbo, should be dispatched, there we go. Right, Arouge and Radion, how are we taking this then? We're going to take it in fifth, oh, that's what I did before. Oi, oi, oi. Right, definitely a fourth gear corner, we've got to back out of that a bit earlier. I think what's happening, because I was in the compression of braking, the front was diving, the rear was just coming up off the ground. Not doing well here. Definitely lost time on this first lap. Right, got five laps, so so I do have a bit of time to try and catch up. Though it doesn't feel like my Porsche is very quick round here. There we go, squeeze on the power. Try and get get through nice and softly, smooth, smoothly, smoothly. Hold third gear. That gorgeous blue. Both of those blues on that Porsche there is gorgeous. Oh, he's on my inside and he's clipped me. Wow. Just about past him. Right. I definitely find in GT7 you have to be a lot more cautious. Cars do bite a lot more than they do in GT Sport. You alright? Just finishing up now. Yeah. Alright, we're just going to take it steady through Rouge and Ruddy on this time. Fourth gear. Yeah. yeah, that puts the fear in you. Down the Kemmel straight. Looks like we dropped the cars from behind, but it doesn't look like we're catching. The other guy's very fast. He went too fast into there. There we go. Up over the curb. Does it look like it's about to rain to you? It's getting dark here. And on the weather map. I'm going to attack these guys. Let's remember we've got stuck behind a 997. Ow! He hit us pretty hard there. Got stuck behind a 997 Porsche last time. 
Right, this 964 is now tr trying to get it in the way. Oof, been getting, getting bullied hardcore around here. Wow, we lost a lot of time through there. It's dark, but it doesn't look like it's going to... It's, radar's not showing any rain. Wow, this 997 GT3 is that fast bugger that we couldn't seem to get a move done on. Come on, power! Karatsa's done the fastest lap and he's faster than we are. So definitely not got pace around here at the moment. I think we're actually losing ground to leader at this point. Yeah, look at that 996 out was behind him in the bus stop. And even with us having an amazing Orusian Radion, only just catching him now. Couldn't get on the power there. Down the inside of him though, this time. Right, 11 seconds now the gap to fourth. Remember, we need to get third or higher to progress in this one. I think I need to start praying for rain here. There we go. Road is looking shiny. But I don't see any rain yet. Come on. Oi, oi, oi. Wow. Got it all sorts of wrong there. Don't think we're going to get this third place. Four. That cost us ten seconds, yeah. Come on, power. Power. Man, we threw away a lot of time there. Oh, the Rouge Radion is still an event every single lap. I need a downpour. That's the only way we're going to catch up now. We need to absolute hammer it down now. Going for the inside here. Decided last minute. Oh. oh, right. We're going to leave it there. 
I'm going to have to come back to this with a fresh mind. We've done 266 miles today, but I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, goodbye.